So, Shadow Flame, Twisting Nether are his biggest outs against it. Yeah, and Hellfire is a lot more, like, a lot faster too. Like, you don't need to wait for another condition to actually use it. Because I don't know if he actually runs Hellfire or not. Pretty sure we haven't seen it. Like, we, we've seen this deck now uh, six times. Yeah. We have been seeing Shadow Flame quite a bit, though. Yeah, we've seen Shadow Flame almost every single game. We have not seen Hellfire yet. But his hand's looking pretty decent. Mm -hmm. It is looking Wouldn't be really surprised decent. to see the coin uh, Twilight Drake next turn. Mm -hmm. Or not next turn, but turn three. Yeah. Not much going on next turn, so he's probably just going to tap, obviously. Let's see what's going on in the Warrior's hand, real quick. Not much going on, but he does have the Battle Rage. Better is pretty. Age. Like I wouldn't be surprised. Seagull come down with no value, or even just yeah, Berserker could be fine too. Mm -hmm. Perfect answer with the Shadow Ball. I like that. Now the strike's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't be surprised that we're gonna see like a turn six Doomsayer on an empty board, <laughs> just to. Uh, to prevent the uh, inner the rage, the patron combo. Or when, yeah, yeah, the classic patron combo. Yeah. But that's only if Nostum knows that this is patron. Though. But then with the armor smith reveal, you probably know that that's going to be patron. Just well, because... you've been performing so terribly in every tournament that's been in lately. Yeah, true. It's usually the deck that just loses them for him. So a lot of people have been rethinking about what they're playing, and then you see more pirate builds. You see more. Patron, actually, Patron's been making a huge return. We saw it on Monday as well. Yeah, I was wondering why nobody decided to play Patrons when um, Shaman, Zoo, and also Dragon Warrior was dominant. It's not bad against Dragon Warrior either. It has the same answers. Yeah, they have the same answers. It's sort of like a kind of a 50-50 kind of matchup. But you also it's have a... Whirlwind that's been performing the best in the meta. Mm -hmm. And then the, this deck also gets to play the uh, Pyromancer combo. So you like you're able to just like potentially you know wipe the board like even if they have you know, three health minions you can just go oh, like we, we see the hellfire oh. okay so he is playing hellfire so he is playing hellfire man that's pretty sick hellfire into like pot gear into hellfire yeah like you I guess get a board. Carry. yeah I know that's actually pretty sick if I think about it yeah and now he doesn't even have to do the the premeditated doomsayer as well so, yeah. like he is pretty far ahead mm -hmm. like even seeing this come down. We're just looking for a whirlwind for the uh, mm -hmm. the patrons at the point at this point. So, oh, so he is giving the Cthulhu more like tires. he is activating Cthulhu at this point, right? Mm -hmm. It's just one off. One off definitely does feel bad when you actually need it, though. Well, also just making Cthulhu bigger always feels bad. Like that's why I always thought like people hating on Craze Worshipper was a little bit wrong. Because, you know, it's and it does have the potential to just, you know, gain five or six, yeah. you know. I don't really know why people hate it on this so much. Just because, you know, the removal of um, Sludge Belcher? He did Belcher? pick up the Shadow there, too. So yeah. now he can use the Hellfire to clear. Yeah. Oh, he's baiting out. He might be baiting it out. I like that. Ooh, mm. the, ooh power overwhelming, too. Oh, so this is a guaranteed kind of good removal with the Shadow Flame. Like he, uh, like he, if comes down, he could actually play Savannah's uh, Power of Wilming here. Oh yeah, that's true too. Oh man, that's disgusting. Take a sweet Malkarok. Yeah. I'm gonna save the Brave. Down. Or not. Could go with... Probably. Could this actually bait out the Hellfire? Or the Shadow Flame? Because it's only 6 attack, right? Yeah. Like how often does it actually backfire, right? Mm -hmm. True, true. <laughs> I say that, but you know, ooh, ooh, That'd okay, okay. He's choosing to use the. Oh, so like, okay, this is gonna leave the berserker at four. So mix your Drake for two. So now you can play the platoon. Mm -hmm. so, so saving, so actually saving the Salvanas. Why do you think that? Oh, is he planning to do the? Um... Where do you find the room? Uh, you. Well, I can send you the list later, but. <laughs> I can send you the list. I can send you the list later. You do have the room. Uh, I think I cut like I don't know if this oh, actually my. has two core cards. This is gonna be a full board of patrons and a dead Drake and just a, a Cthulhu's chosen up. So this could be the turn that we're gonna see Apothecary into Coin <laughs> Shadow Flame. It's beautiful. Oh, he didn't play the Power Master first. Why? Because he wants to live, maybe. 
Yeah, he wants well, to Well, he's not, he's not dead if he does it. Yeah. But no, he could have played, um... Okay, so you play the patron, then you play the pyromancer, and then you enrage the patron, which does one to the opposing board, then you play whirlwind, and you gain four more, then the drake is dead, and then the, the chosen is at uh, one health. Yep. So you, you, they're just up with a 4-1. Do you know the but, card he's playing around? I have it's no clue. Apothecary? What? He didn't play it. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that, be a full yeah, yeah, he was playing a So instead of his board being at 30, yeah, exactly. he just stood there. Ooh, Ooh poor health. That's good. I mean, yeah, it's pretty good, but I think you actually wanted something you could attack with this turn. Start putting the pressure back on. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Man, this this is actually kind of tough. Because I don't, I don't... I think Savannah's is fine. Like, it's hard for it not to get value here. True. It's actually probably just going to straight out kill uh, Malkara. Yeah, so either Malkara is going to trade into it, or he's going to use Gorehal and Lotus 6 5 be stolen. But obviously the trade is going to go through. Well, the best way to deal with uh, Gorehal is actually just to flood the board with minions, because then he's only able to kill one at a time. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh. With the brand! Oh, oh. so good! Oh, <laughs> so good! Baby. Oh, baby. And we're going to see triplets yet again. Stop with the triplets, please. There's too many triplets. Huh? Oh, automatically. He's not even gonna mess with that. Yeah. Too much value. Too much value. 